Welcome to Electra Online. Here on the board, we now have all the possible representations of the way solutions can come out when we're trying to solve quadratic equations. So we can have the parabola open upward, or we can have the parabola open downward, and we'll get more into the details of why that is and how that happens. But here we simply want to take a look at what the possibilities are. If the lowest point on the parabola when it opens upward is below the x-axis, you can see there will be two points where it crosses the x-axis, so therefore there will be two real solutions. If the parabola opens upward, it could be that the lowest point happens to be right on the x-axis. In that case, there's only one real solution. And sometimes it happens that the parabola opens upward and the lowest point does not come all the way down to the x-axis and it doesn't cross the x-axis and there's no real solutions. But there will be two imaginary solutions because if we take the mirror image of our parabola and flip it over, so that's what the mirror image is, we simply take that parabola and flip it over, we have an imaginary parabola, and that imaginary parabola, well, it does cross the x-axis in two places, so therefore there are two imaginary solutions. You may wonder, what's the point? Is there any real point in solving for imaginary solutions? Well, there's actually places in signs where we need those imaginary solutions. They actually mean something, so yes, we need to learn how to do that. We can also have the parabola open downward, and of course, if the highest point on the parabola is above the x-axis, we can again see that the parabola will cross the x-axis in two places, so there will be two real solutions, and I guess I need an L there, two real solutions. All right, and then if the if, it op if the parabola opens downward and the highest point is right on the x-axis, then there's only one real solution. And if the parabola opens downward and the highest point is below the x-axis, then again, there's no real solutions because the parabola, the function, does not cross the x-axis. But then if we flip in our imagination, we call that the, the mirror image of our parabola flipped upward, you can see that that imaginary parabola does cross the x-axis in two places, and therefore there are also two iman imaginary solutions if there are no real solutions. And yes, there are reasons why sometimes we need to do that. In all cases, we're going to learn how to find those points in various ways. So stay tuned, and we'll have lots of videos for you that show you how to solve quadratic equations to find all those various combinations of solutions we could potentially run into. And that is how it's done.